What's up everyone, this is All I Talk is Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to get these amazing keyboards for your iOS device that just give your device a cleaner look. Let's get started. Okay, so there's going to be a link down below in the description. So once you click that, it's going to take you to this website. So from here, you want to go ahead and tap on App Store Apps and scroll all the way to the bottom until you see the keyboard section. Now here, I got a bunch of really cool keyboard apps that I highly recommend. So just take a look at those. I'm not going to go over each one individually, but I'm just going to show you the process to download them. So this one is personally my favorite. After clicking the download button, it's going to take you to the App Store and you can go ahead and just download that app. This one is called Rainbow Key. This is the best one, I think. And this was shown in my last video. So that one's pretty cool. So here you can see they got a bunch of themes. You can choose whatever color you want or whatever picture you want to be the background of the keyboard. So just go ahead and tap on one of those. And here is the one that I had in my video, the raining one. That one's pretty cool. Now, some of these you do have to pay for, but if you're willing to do that, then go right ahead. But you can also set your own pictures. You can use photos from your library, which is pretty cool. But after choosing your picture and tapping next, you can change the style of the key. You can change the shape. You can change the color. So that's pretty cool. Just a little bit of customization here. Now, after tapping next again, you could change the font on your keyboard this won't actually make the font you type change but it'll just change the actual font on the keyboard here you can add little motions and stuff so every time you tap a key it will do an effect which is pretty cool and if you tap on next here you can change the sounds of the keyboard every time you type which is pretty cool now once you have your keyboard all set up what you want to do is go to settings now from here you want to go ahead and click on general scroll down until you see keyboard and this is for any keyboard that you do just tap on keyboard click on add new keyboard and choose rainbow key or whatever keyboard you chose and then go ahead and tap on allow full access and then whatever pop-up comes up just go ahead and tap on allow full access now here you can see the keyboard if you hold down the globe you can choose which keyboard you want so here is the standard ios keyboard if you hold down with the globe like i said earlier you can go back but the problem is every time you go into an app it's gonna change back to the default keyboard, which I don't really like. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So what you wanna do is go back to your keyboard settings, just erase the English keyboard or whatever keyboard you have. And you will see that this is now my default keyboard and I won't have to switch back and forth between apples and the one I want. Anyways, it's gonna be about it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I've got a bunch of really cool videos coming out. Make sure to check out those other keyboard apps. They are pretty cool and I highly recommend them. And as always, peace.